you have to experience this loneliness at the top. And I love sometimes this loneliness where I can recharge. It's what keeps me sane. I think I'm a driven person, yes. I have a role in my world to push the boundaries and to establish aesthetics and a new world, the world that I want to live in. I think the biggest pressure that I have is to never leave the present and always being in the future and looking at what's happening today and at the same time trying to guess what will happen tomorrow. If they want the pressure, I think they won't be creativity. I think the biggest challenge that I had in my life, whatever it's work or personal, is trust. My life has been based on trying to be the best to prove that I was the right choice. When I was young, I was seeing maybe being adopted is like a weakness. And I would say that now is my strength because when you're adopted, you want to be recognized, you want to be loved, you want to make sure that you're the right choice. So in a way, I'm driven by making sure I'm the right choice. And so sometimes trying to be a superhero. I think I always tried to, to make sure I was pushing my limits and daring and not being scared and the fact that I'm always unsatisfied will always make me try to do better, to be the best version of who I am today, to make sure that I will never disappoint the people that I love and that surround me. Drive for me is actually like deciding where you want to take your life. Where do you want to go? Drive for me is freedom. Drive for me is being yourself. Drive for me is it's fearless in a way. I'm inspired by escape, going away, going to Normandy, going to Etretat, listening to the sound of the wave, listening to the silence. I love the contradiction of my life. I love the feeling of the noise, the chaos, and at the same time, the silence. This is who I am. This is what keeps me alive. And this is what I need for being creative and for being myself. <laughs> 